At the beginning of this month, way back before it started snowing in my town like it did today, back when it was shorts weather at the start of this month on Saturday, October 1st, the Washington Post published a story that still now, weeks later, seems impossible. Rick Perry, governor of Texas for the last 10 years, now a Republican presidential contender, grew up in a place called Paint Creek, Texas. And nearby Paint Creek, Texas, his family maintained a hunting camp. And the name of that hunting camp was something I cannot say. And it's not just because I'm on TV that I can't say it. According to the Post, the name was painted across a large flat rock standing at the gated entrance to the camp. Mr. Perry said that his family painted over the offensive name when they first started using the camp in the early 1980s, but the Post spoke to people who remember seeing the name painted on the rock much more recently. Now, the N-word head story about Rick Perry got a huge flurry of attention when it first came out, but then it pretty quickly went away. I, I think it went away in part because it's hard to talk about. You have to be awkward and very complicatedly verbose to discuss the offensiveness of a word that is so offensive that nobody wants to pronounce it. Texas Governor Rick Perry, who is running for the Republican presidential nomination, is in the middle of another controversy, this one involving the name of the family hunting camp, a name that used to include a racial obscenity painted on a rock at the entrance. The racial slur painted on a rock out front. The racial epithet was visible on a rock. The racial slur. A racially charged name. Rick Perry said his father painted over the word. Perry's campaign maintains the name was changed. Several people told the Washington Post they could still read the word as recently as a few years back. The Texas governor mm. had a camp mm. that was called right. such an offensive name. And were racial epithet, uh, controversy, that name, you know the one, that offensive one. It's hard to cover this stuff. And, and after all that initial and very tense and awkward flurry of initial attention right at the beginning of the month, the whole story about Rick Perry hunting and entertaining people at a place named for the N-word, the whole controversy went away quickly. And so now Rick Perry is free, as of this week, to move on to insinuating that President Obama faked his birth certificate and secretly isn't really American. As in, don't worry, America, we haven't really had our first black president yet because Barack Obama secretly isn't really the president. One person who has decided to not let the Rick Perry N-word hunting camp story fall out of the news cycle is comedian Sarah Silverman, who on Tuesday night in Texas is hosting a comedy show called Live From... Yeah. Live from N-Word Head. Subtitle, Stripping the Paint Off of Good Old Fashioned Racism. With all proceeds from the show going fittingly to the NAACP. Joining us tonight for the interview is the great and good Sarah Silverman. Sarah, thank you for being here. It's nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be on here. My mother uh, almost died when she was... She left a message on my machine saying that she was on all fours scrubbing the bathroom floor when she heard Rachel say that I was going to be on tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, she's very excited. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mrs. Uh, Silverman. <clears throat> O'Hara. Oh, oh, but Hera. that's okay. Sorry. That's awkward. Um, I, speaking oh, yeah. of awkward, I, I am not actually sure how to ask you a question about the title of your show. So asking about the subtitle, Stripping the Paint Off of Good Old Fashioned Racism, is, is the idea here that the Rick Perry camp name controversy should not be over? Yeah, I think that any time... I think that anytime racism shows itself in a tangible way, it's not just a gas in the air, it's important to take the opportunity to, to point at it, you know? Um, I think it's dangerous when it just kind of goes away. And, you know, here's a guy who is a governor and running for president, and it has not injured him in any way, really. I mean... 